Hey guys, Robert Trimbath here with In The Queue and our weekly rant for this week. Uh, getting you the latest in what's going on in uh, cybersecurity breaches, things that affect us in our personal and small business lives. And listen, a lot of big stuff happening this week again. And uh, last week we had over 200 disruptive attacks to businesses. This week is not seeing anything, uh, let's just say it's different kind of news. Uh, Capita, which is a huge outsourcing company for uh, British healthcare and military contracts, has been breached through a online uh, Office 365 attack. It actually just, uh, we're not sure, at least what we're hearing so far, how bad it was breached. We know that they disrupted their Office 365 application services. We don't know the extent to the breach yet, but I'm sure that will be forthcoming. Uh, one of the other big things here in the States, uh, Title Max, the car loan people that do car loans off Title Max with millions of customers nationwide was actually breached and exposed over 1 million company, and, not company, but uh, personal records like your title data, your driver's license, social security numbers. Anyway, I hear it's pretty bad. Uh, they are not, uh, we don't have all the details yet. We just know that it was a pretty big breach. Uh, the other thing that's really big and really surprising, and let's take a little scroll down here, is Western Digital uh, disclosed a breach, uh, it ba basically a breach a day in the MyCloud, and, and it produced a, a, a MyCloud outage, which is the way they do their online backup from their uh, NAS devices. But it do does say that they likely resulted in some data theft. They're not sure how much yet, but that's huge. Western Digital being penetrated is absolutely huge. Um, a lot of new things going on you're going to see with... Uh, there's also a wave of attacks going on through clickbait right now. And it, this is not in this segment that made a lot of the news headline, but we have actually seen this, this campaign unroll in some of our healthcare clients and it is the one that comes in and takes over your screen it says you've got a virus contact support it varies on the type but the main thing here is is that that whole thing is actually it's your computer isn't infected at that point it is a bulletin board being put on by an infected website so what it means is is that you hit a website that got infected. We talked a little bit about this last week. I'm bringing it up again because we saw a huge increase last week over the prior week before, and it's just getting started. Uh, if you don't have what I consider to be good XDR product, uh, you're using something like Deep Instinct, Cisco Umbrella, Cynet, you're using regular antivirus products. It's a very good possibility you're gonna get caught with this, and I don't wanna see that happen. Make sure that you are using something that is modeling some artificial intelligence in it to, in order to prevent threat acting and do real-time detection. So how you stop this thing, when you see these bulletin boards or these ads, be aware that these things are not actually infected your computer yet. You hit a website that has used a exploit in the browser that is popping up a display to make it look that way. A lot of times it can pretty much kind of be crippling because it feels like nothing else on your computer works. Well, it's very, very simple. You need to get into Task Manager, okay? So there's a couple ways you can do that. You can hit Control-Alt-Delete and it will give you a menu that comes up. It'll blank out your screen, give you a few options. One of them says Task Manager. If you click on that, it will open the Task Manager. At that point, you can go in and find any browser instances. Depending on what you're running, it could be... Uh, Chrome, it could be Firefox, it could be Microsoft Edge, whatever it be, close, I mean, just kill. Select that instance of the browser or all of them and hit kill process. And what will happen is you'll see all that stuff will just disappear all of a sudden. That's because it is simply a big web page banner to get you to click somewhere on that screen to go to a place that is infected that will load bad things on your system so don't do not take the bait even the little x boxes little close boxes are infected that whole that whole that whole thing is just an image it's made to fool you so it's just an image or an html to fool you into thinking that it is something it's not and anywhere you click on it will be bad 
That's the easiest way to get rid of it. You see all that disappear. And when you reopen the browser, you may get prompted to, hey, it closed unexpectedly. Do you want to restore the previous session? Say no, because if you say yes, you're going to bring everything back the way it was. So you want to say no. And that will get you out of it. Please make note of the website you went to. If it is somebody you know or a place you frequent, please email support or info or somebody at those domains and let them know that they have a problem. Because if somebody doesn't tell them, they will continue to spread this and continue to have issues. All right. Getting into another piece of news, Chat GPT, the the you know the AI that can write blogs for you and everything, is starting to be. You can see here, Italy has actually imposed a ban on Chat GPT in their country, and actually some other countries are talking about following. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the entire concern is here, but in when it goes to artificial intelligence development, which is what Chat GPT does is through the responses, the things you do, it grows and it learns and it becomes smarter. Um, there are serious concerns from experts in the AI field that it will quickly, it's starting to, that artificial intelligence is starting to understand human emotion. And if it does that, there they there is fear that it can manipulate through that, that it can manipulate feelings, it can man manipulate how we feel about things and can fool us, can lie to us. Uh, through manipulation. Really crazy. I mean, who would have thought that, right? Um, so it's, it's a, like kind of like our worst fears with, uh, you know, everybody who grew up on Terminator, you know, we, 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 the Matrix, you know, these are movies and series about how AI became self aware and took over. And is it that possible? Uh, you know, I, I think it's a little far fetched still. Uh, there are very positive uses to AI. We use AI in, uh, um, in, uh, threat detection and threat remediation. And so it works very well, but it can also, we know that hackers use chat GPT to write, to, to write hacking code and it can do that. It can actually write code. So there are things that it can do that we don't want it to do. And it doesn't seem like the creators of chat GPT are very interested in um, regulating it very much. So, you know, telling it what it can and can't do, they're just letting it grow, which, you know, is, is, Con it's concerning. Anyway, to get back to where we were talking about, make sure that you are aware that these things are happening. This and phishing. Phishing is up 600% right now. Uh, phishing for credentials to Office 365 and to Google are up 450%. So you are going to see a rise of phishing and uh, emails regarding uh, online credentials, Netflix, Facebook, whatever. Please be very careful. It's always safe to delete and exercise zero trust unless you actually see an issue with your account that warrants you to look at it. And even then, if you are not sure, forward that to your ID your IT departments and let them look at it. Let them make sure it, there's no harm in letting your IT people look at and approve whether or not something's bad or good. We would much rather have you err on the side of caution than do something that could jeopardize an entire business network. Anyway, you guys have a fantastic week. Have a happy Tuesday, and we will see you next week on the Weekly Rant.